I'm here with our director of college scouting, Joe Ortiz. Joe, this is kind of your event. This is your week here. So I don't think people necessarily have a total appreciation for all that goes into Combine Week. Can you take me through what a day in your life is like here at Indy? Oh, uh, well, you know, it starts early. Up, we're, up, we're up early right now, getting a little interview done before weigh-ins. This is the only time you had free. Exactly. Like 6.30 yeah. 6 in the morning is exactly. the only time you had free. Yeah, so we uh, we kick off at 7.30 with the weigh-ins on five days or four days. So um, all three position groups will come through, weigh-in at 7.30, 8.30, And then today, we'll actually jump, a couple of us will jump out early before the third weigh-in's finished and get over there and start timing and testing at the Dome. That'll last from basically 9 to... 1 30 2 o'clock and then interviews start at 6 o'clock and they've changed it up a little this year they're not stretching us all the way to 11 at least the way our schedule fell so we get a little break a little reprieve we're out of there by about 10 o'clock each night and get ready for the next day so you've uh, what number combined is this for this you? is 19. this is 19 yeah. so obviously this is five for me and in my time i've seen it change pretty dramatically just in the last five years yeah. what was combine one like compared to what this one's like it was a blur i can tell you that <laughs> much um you're, for everyone's first combine, no matter what, what job you're doing, it's, there's so many people and there's so much activity and so many people going in different directions that you really don't remember. I was thinking about the other day, I couldn't remember even going to a weigh-in uh, on my first combine and what I did and where they were. And um, I know they were in the old RCA dome, that's about all I know. Um, but the, for the, back then, we had to hunt the players down. It was chasing players. You read the articles about guys almost getting in fights, and you do. <laughs> I mean, like, you, you don't necessarily, not everyone almost gets in a fight, but you have some stare downs and some words and things <laughs> of that nature, and there's a lot of backdoor deals, all that, you know. Now it's much more organized, much more structured. What is that dynamic like between the scouts? Because what's it called? The train station where yeah. all the young scouts go, and they're trying to track down the players. I mean, is it kind of, and we've heard about, like, the weigh-in where all the scouts run in, the young guys run in, they try to save their seats. Yeah. Is that you know is there kind of like a rivalry it's there's more a coalition most years okay. you know you you find yourself it's just like anything you know you find yourself working better with some teams and than others and uh you try to work together and there's a group of guys that get over there early to help save some seats for us and uh and there's it's the same teams every year and uh, every once in a while you get someone break off from the pack to try to run and maybe steal someone else's seat because they're maybe the second row team they want to move up to the first so that's when all of a sudden the pace starts picking up they encourage us not to run and we're doing our best not to i think our guys have done a pretty good job this year of walking quickly to get to the seats as opposed to running. So, All right, there, yeah. get a little speed walk. Yeah, exactly. We got a couple fast speed walkers, you know. So one of the things you guys do is I'm interviewing you now, but you interview all these players. You know, you have 60, 15 minute interview sessions with a bunch of players here. So in when you're in those interviews with the players, what are some of the questions you're asking? Obviously, you're talking football and that kind of thing, but I think you probably throw some oddball questions at them. What kind of questions are you asking them? Try to get more towards football. We used to get in there and ask them about their family, and but we've gotten so much information over the years. We've had a chance to interview a lot of them at the All-Star Games, so we've kind of gotten away from that and really gotten into football right away. And they'll come in, and I'll ask them their three best games, who their agent is. Every once in a while, someone will throw out a zinger, you know, What's the eleventh month of the year? You know, um, what's the what, what state's Baltimore in? Just to, you know, what room are you in? Like you can tell sometimes a guy's going through and he's so rehearsed in his answers. You someone will ask him, "Hey, do you know who you're talking to right now?" And you'll see the kid pause, and he most of the time he knows who he's talking to, but he's like, "Wait a minute, am I talking to Baltimore?" Like mm -hmm. he has that doubt creep in. So uh, we don't get too hard with any questions. We're not asking the square root of 64 or anything like that. What is so. the square root of 64? It's yeah. eight. There we go. All right, you got it. So I want to ask you a couple of questions about just this draft class in general. I talked to Eric yesterday. The common sense is that there's a lot of good defensive backs kind of depth in yeah. this draft. There's good guys at the top, but there's also a lot of depth. When you look in those third, fourth rounds, who are some of the guys that kind of stand out that like, oh man, these are some really good players that could be there and potentially move into starting roles in the NFL? Yeah, if I name players, they may become second or third rounders instead <laughs> yes. of third and fourth rounders. Um, I'll just say this. I think to me, um, it's the probably the best DB board I've seen in that I can remember in terms of the depth and the volume of players. And a lot of years, you're chasing a safety at the top of the board or a looking for safeties. You have a big hole on your board at the safety position because safeties are hard to find. And I really think that this year's draft class has produced a lot of good safety prospects and it goes from the top down. I mean, you got Adams, Hooker, you know, and then you got some late round guys that are going to be playing and playing well. And this year it just seems like the, 
the college game has put out a bunch of good safety prospects this year to, ma to match up with a lot of good corner prospects. So it'll be exciting. Hopefully we can get ourselves one in the, in the uh, top three or four rounds this year. So there's always so much inf misinformation, smoke signals from people like you across the league. So I got to ask you this. How much of what you just told me is true? All of it. <laughs> yeah, is that right? Yeah. There is, I mean, can you, when you listen to what is out there right now, whether it's draft guys talking about mock drafts, that kind of thing, do you know that a lot of what you're hearing is probably not necessarily true? I think when people talk about, it just depends. I, I, if someone's talking about a player being really good and I doubt that player, then I'm like, this is, this is hype. You yeah. know, this is, people are talking this guy up. Um, when people talk about the depth of the class, that's pretty much, okay. that's chatter amongst the group. So if I'm telling you the DB boards, there's a lot of guys in DBs, you know. You're telling the, me the, the, truth. the league is talking about that. Yeah. We, as scouts, we go around in the fall and we're sitting there like, God, can you believe there's this many safeties this year? God, there's this many tight ends. You know, it's exciting. Those mock guys and the Mel Kuypers, you know, and the Daniel Jeremiah's and the Mike Max, they sit there and they're looking at film and they're talking to us and they say the same things. You know, hey, God, it's a great DB year. So that great tight end year, you know, the offensive line's a little thin this year. You know, they're saying the same things and this all of us you know, acknowledging the, the facts. But when you start hearing about certain players, uh, you know, sometimes it's true, sometimes it's not, you know. Well, we'll take you at your word. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Joe, appreciate your time. Absolutely. I'll let you get over to the weigh-ins. Great, thank you.